Jared Leto Joker regrets, Suicide Squad director reveals this was one step too far. Suicide Squad director David Ayer has revealed further regrets around his handling of Jared Leto's Joker. Just two years ago and DC fans were introduced to the first live-action Joker since Heath Ledger's In the Dark Knight. A tough act to follow and Leto's incarnation has certainly be the subject of strong debate. And now Suicide Squad director Air has revealed that he thought one of the Joker's tattoos was a step too far. A fan on Twitter asked him, what was the inspiration behind damaged tattoo on Joker's forehead, was it your idea? Air replied, yes I have to fall on that sword. It was one step too far. This isn't the first time the director has admitted his regrets around Leto's Joker. Last November he lamented not making the clown prince of crime Suicide Squad's main villain. Air wrote on Twitter, Believe me. I agonize over this. Yes. Joker should have been the main bad guy. While in January 2017 he said he wished he had a time machine in a lengthy reflection on the film. Now Leto may be about to return for further movies but there's another Joker on scene at Warner Brothers. Joaquin Phoenix is currently filming a Joker origin story set in the 1980s, a film that's completely separate to the Leto incarnation. Last week Phoenix was spotted in full costume as the Joker in a set video. The actor portrays Arthur Fleck, a failed comedian and proto-Joker. The Martin Scorsese-produced film will have a low budget of just £42 million and is set to be a gritty, dark thriller. Meanwhile The Hangover director Todd Phillips is helming the project. Joker is released in UK cinemas on October 4, 2019.